recent months, the technology sector has been undergoing a genuine tectonic shift. And according to several authoritative sources in Silicon Valley, this shift may become the beginning of the largest revolution in the history of the mobile industry. It concerns NVIDIA, the giant that in just two years transformed from a leader in graphics accelerators into the most valuable corporation in the world, surpassing Apple, Microsoft, and even the largest oil and gas players. This rise is not simply financial success. It represents a fundamental restructuring of the global technology hierarchy. Its market capitalization has exceeded every conceivable limit, pushing the company into a category of influence historically reserved only for the world's most dominant corporations. Demand for its products is at a record high. Entire sectors, from cloud computing and robotics to scientific simulations and AI agents, now depend on NVIDIA's hardware, software stacks and ecosystem. And the gap between it and competitors is widening so rapidly that some analysts are already calling the phenomenon the hang effect, a period when a single company can dictate the rules of the market as if the global center of innovation has shifted into one office tower in Santa Clara. The hang effect is not just about sales dominance. It reflects how NVIDIA's decisions can alter supply chains, push entire industries into new architectures, and set technical standards that everyone else must adopt to survive. But as it turned out, the rapid rise is only the beginning. According to several unnamed sources familiar with the situation at the top management level of NVIDIA, the company is preparing a move capable of overturning the global mobile electronics market and permanently reshaping the balance of power among the world's giants. Insiders claim that NVIDIA's leadership, headed by its cult figure Jensen Hang, has made a fundamental decision. The corporation is entering the smartphone market, and doing so with ambitions the industry has not seen since the presentation of the first iPhone. The scale, secrecy and urgency of the project indicate that this is not a simple experiment, but a strategic pivot. And while talk of an NVIDIA smartphone was once perceived as rumors circulating within engineering circles in Silicon Valley, it has now taken on an official character. As reported by journalists from Bloomberg Technology and Nikkei Asia, several NVIDIA divisions have already been instructed to prepare the infrastructure for a new project aimed at the mass consumer rather than developers and data centers. This is a major shift. NVIDIA's products traditionally existed in the background, powering other devices. Now, it plans to step into the spotlight with a device consumers will physically hold in their hands. Moreover, according to information published by analysts at CounterPoint Research, the company has already formed preliminary teams tasked with developing a mobile operating system based on NVIDIA's existing solutions and optimizing the architecture for mobile computing. This marks the first time NVIDIA is building not just the engine of a device, but the full experience from silicon to interface. For the first time in its history, the company intends to go beyond chips and create its own consumer product, which according to experts could hit Apple, Samsung, Huawei and Xiaomi simultaneously. Judging by information leaked by several anonymous engineers familiar with internal plans, work is scheduled to begin in 2026, and Hang has set a strict and symbolic requirement. The smartphone must not only be more powerful than all existing counterparts on the market, but also cheaper than competitors. This strategy has already received an internal corporate name, democratization of superpower, and its meaning is simple. If NVIDIA actually creates a mobile device based on its next generation Blackwell X or Rubin chips, it will become the first truly AI native smartphone. Not merely performing computations, but able to function as a personal autonomous intelligence. This would be a fundamentally different device from current smartphones, which rely heavily on cloud services for advanced AI tasks. According to one Financial Times source, close to internal investment discussions, the NVIDIA smartphone project is viewed as a potential second iPhone moment, a technological leap that could transform the entire industry rather than just its competitors. This comparison is not made lightly. The first iPhone redefined the purpose of mobile devices by turning them into pocket computers. 
Nvidia insiders say, wants to redefine them again by transforming them into pocket intelligences. This is explained by the fact that Nvidia is entering a market governed not only by the laws of technology, but also by the laws of mass competition. But analysts note that thanks to the colossal profitability of the GPU business and the constant growth of profits, the company can afford almost any pricing strategy, including aggressively lowering the cost of the smartphone while maintaining premium hardware. Unlike other companies forced to defend profit margins, Nvidia can afford to sacrifice short-term revenue to achieve global dominance. And this creates a threat that, according to insiders, Apple, Samsung and Huawei take extremely seriously. Journalists at the Wall Street Journal, citing their own sources in the Asian supply chain, report that Nvidia's entry into the mobile business could upend the entire logistics of the semiconductor industry. Casings, displays, modern cameras, neural processors, all of this will have to be adapted to a completely new type of architecture, focused not on traditional smartphone tasks, but on uninterrupted operation of AI models. The industry is already joking that the NVIDIA smartphone will not be a phone with artificial intelligence, but an artificial intelligence that can make calls. Behind the humor is a real fear that NVIDIA may shift consumer expectations toward devices that are constantly thinking, predicting, and acting without waiting for commands. And against the backdrop of its success in data centers and robotics, this step looks less like a gamble and more like a logical stage of expansion. NVIDIA's entire evolution, right from gaming GPUs to AI infrastructure, has been leading to a future in which personal devices will also depend on powerful local AI. According to Reuters, Jensen Hang said at a closed meeting with investors that the future of computing is personalized, meaning that devices capable of working autonomously and performing complex AI tasks in a pocket will become the new standard of the tech industry. At the same time, anonymous NVIDIA employees claim that the company is considering two directions, a fully proprietary NVIDIA-branded smartphone and a partnership model with one of the Asian manufacturers, the most frequently mentioned being Oppo, Vivo and even Xiaomi. At the core is the goal of keeping the final device cheaper than Apple's and Samsung's premium models, which is already creating tension in the market. Several analysts at Morgan Stanley and Bank of America openly state that Nvidia's arrival in the mobile market could start a price war in the smartphone sector, similar to the one the company triggered in AI computing when, thanks to the enormous power of its H100 and G H200 chips, it forced competitors into a position where they had to catch up rather than try to overtake. And while the technical specifications of the future smartphone remain secret, Sources at Digitimes claim the device will use a new architecture with hardware acceleration for large language models capable of operating fully offline, that is, without cloud connectivity. This would be a breakthrough that could destroy the very concept of the mobile internet, since AI operations would be executed directly on the device, which is 100 times faster and safer than cloud analogs. It is also claimed that the new chip will be able to run GPT class models directly on the phone, creating a technical advantage so powerful that some experts are already talking about the start of a post-smartphone era, in which the device becomes not a phone, but a personal digital assistant with autonomous intelligence. According to several employees interviewed by The Information, the company has sharply increased the number of closed hires of engineers specializing in display module integration, energy efficient power circuits, and compact cooling systems, areas that have never been core to NVIDIA and that directly indicate the development of a mobile device. This level of secrecy and preparatory activity is typical only for projects capable of overturning an entire industry. It is noted that this will not be just another smartphone and that NVIDIA does not make ordinary products. If they enter the market, there will be something that makes competition meaningless. But what is most interesting is that several sources claim Jensen Hang is personally overseeing the device's strategy, including the external design and the concept of user and AI interaction. Hang set the goal of creating a smartphone that becomes not a device, but an extension of personality. 
a fully autonomous AI companion that understands the owner's context, lifestyle and habits. If this is true, then in the coming years we may enter an era in which the phone stops being a gadget and becomes a full-fledged digital assistant operating without the internet, adapting to the user and performing thousands of tasks instantly thanks to NVIDIA's architecture. If rumours of the project's acceleration are confirmed, the mobile technology market in the years 2026 to 2027 may find itself in the strongest turbulence in its history, and the leader who emerges from this race will define the technological future for decades ahead. So, do you think Apple and Samsung can survive an Nvidia price war? Or does this finally break the premium phone market? Comment below. And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest moving AI breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage.